I came to Dr. Yoza in about April or May 2010 for uh, to help me with my brain aneurysm. Um, at the time, the doctors had told me the aneurysm was about an inch and a quarter big, which was too big to have surgery here in Hawaii. And um, 10 days later, I had taken an um, angiogram and it showed that the brain aneurysm had shrunk to half an inch. And the doctors, surgeons had never ever heard of that before. And that was just a miracle in itself. So I didn't have to go to the mainland for surgery. I could have surgery here. The doctor said, whatever I'm doing, just keep doing it. <laughs> because he's never heard of an aneurysm shrinking. It usually always grows. And it probably would have grown bigger to where I would have had to go to the mainland to have surgery. They probably wouldn't have been able to do uh, the less evasive way of going in through the thigh. They probably would have had to cut open the brain and have the surgery that way. I want to say thank you to Dr. Yoza and all of his staff uh, for giving me my life back, um, helping me back to being normal, uh, just wonderful. I am Alan Katsura. I am a retired banker, I'm 70 years old. Uh, after several visits, uh, it got cured, but I had a little doubt about its healing technique. So uh, I didn't come back until after maybe two years after that visit because I had a chronic backache at that point. Uh, after six visits, my back was healed. Uh, I really believe that Dr. Yoza's resonant healing technique uh, goes beyond the, the physical. Uh, it connects the, the brain to the body and uh, I believe then it instructs the body to do some natural healing. So uh, every visit that I come to Dr. Yosa I feel 100% uh, better and will continue to visit him uh, whenever I can. Thank you. あの、きっかけは、もう夜中に泣き泣いて歩き回る。でもちゃんと歩けなかったりとか、あとあの、寝不足がすごく続いて、あの、何だかわからなかったんですけど、病院行ったんですよ。獣医さんにしたら、結局
she has never been in the oxygen tent and her tail came up and she started to walk fast like a puppy so dr yoza has uh, increase the quality of her life yeah. and in turn increase the quality of our lives.